Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to Turn 1 of Horror on the Orient Express. I'm playing the Kickstarter demo. This Kickstarter is currently available to back. And I just want to say, this isn't paid in any way. I am not being paid to do this. Okay, let's get in it. We're going to start over here. Now, the committed preacher is here. So, you know what I might do? Let's just try something. What is it? Chill six. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I, don't, I really don't like... <laughs> I, re I really don't like models in Tabletop Simulator because you can never, it's really hard to see what they are. Okay, so she was in the sanctuary, right? So what have we got here? We've got two angry faces, two angry faces. So she's going to use one energy and go one move here. And then she's going to activate user energy so that's using a basic action to move up to two spots and now she's doing this which is allows her to send two angry faces into calm so that's four okay and now she's got one more energy left i think she's going to save her energy now oh and then she let's just shuffle this boom out comes a mask. Now, as this has the three dots, it goes on the three dot level on the, the board, but that doesn't resolve until there's three tokens out. So there's a bit of time still. And then the train moves one spot. Now we have this bloke. So he's got push two, because we're going at a speed of one. And he is here. I think the first thing he's going to do is he's going to use a energy to open the curtains here because the vampire's here. That makes him a little less powerful. And does he have a way of healing wounded people? No, he doesn't. And then he's going to move one, two. That's a second energy so he's done a move and he did an open window action oh wait i can use this in a cart with a closed window oh, he's already he opened the window didn't he choose places with a chosen suspect okay so he's going to use the one move to go in here let's quickly do this as well okay so to just recap what i did i used a, the move at one action to open the window then i did the move action to move into here I'm now going to use the other move action that he has, which is disguise. In a carriage with a closed windows, change places with a chosen suspect and immediately take another action. So boom. And I'm going to change spaces with this suspect here. Now. Here's a question. This says immediately take another action, but I've already used both of my basic actions. Does that mean I get a third action or does that mean, I think it means I get another action, right? It just means that I, okay, so I'm not really sure. Basically, as you can take your actions in any order, what is this giving me? Is this giving me the ability to take another, like I've done both my, both my, uh, basic actions and I've used my cube action. It says immediately take another, oh, another main action. God, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it says another main action. So that's another cube action. Where did I move again? So I started in the salon. I went one, two. Okay, so let's just rehash what happened. I was in here. I opened the window with one action. I then moved here with the other action to a place with a closed window because the movement here has to have a closed window. Then I activated that to come to here. And now I'm going to activate 
bounty hunt, which is push one of a of all monsters of a chosen color in your cart. For each monster that falls behind, remove one essence from a monster portal of its color. So we are at speed one. I've got push one, so that's push two. One, two, the blue guy goes off the table, back into the pool, and we have no essence. This thing doesn't actually get essence. It's always active. So that's the end of his turn. Let's uh, draw the token. It is another base thing. And this goes up one more. Okay, now it's this bloke's go. Push zero, where is he anyway? Okay, so he's over here. Okay, so he's in a, what have we got? You may send a happy person with another person of any type from your cart to a chosen cart, and we can make an angry person happy. So what have we got here? Desires to be in the locomotive. This guy desires an artifact. One, two, one, two. Okay, so he's gonna use both his movements, bam, bam. So he's moving twice, which is move up to two. That gives him one, two, one, two. He is now here. He's then going to do his entourage, uh, not entourage, what was it again? Uh, pay them up. Make an angry or neutral person happy. So we're going to make the angry person happy. And then it says, you may send a happy person with one other person of any state from your cart to a chosen cart. So we're going to move both of these guys to this cart here. Uh, I'll move it to this cart here. Now the vampire's got no one to attack. And that is the end of his turn. So let's draw a... Uh... Okay, so this is a instant event that doesn't go on the event board. And because it's green, we don't actually draw a second one. So that is all investigators get one energy. That's very, very good. Now, this person here is already at max. And then the cart moves again. Now, I'm not quite sure. I think as we're just over the train track, like we're actually just on this one, this one gets revealed straight away as soon as you're, you're over it. So like turn three, that reveals. Or three, four... Five. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we'll turn three. So this uh this is revealed. Okay, so there's two portals here. So each portal gets a single essence, like so. And then you also add an essence for every insane passenger. And we have two insane passengers, so we get another one, two. If it's odd. Right, you just split it as evenly as possible and put the odd one on the one closer to the, the locomotive. So what have we got here? In each carriage with an open window, gather happy people from an adjacent carriage and make them calm. And there's a green monster spawn. Okay, so this guy's turn. Okay, so she has a way of healing insane people. So we should definitely do that as much as we can. Banish one, remove one essence from the leftmost active portal. Or we can reveal who's in our cart. We have the crime book writer and the master, whatever that means. So the models in this um uh the models in this mod are named after the occupation. I might make uh visual tokens for them as well, like I'm doing with the investigators. So that's medium. Chef, here, 
Mastra. I don't know what that means or how to pronounce it. It's a French word of some sort. So she only has one. So I think that's actually a good one to do. Who's the other person there? Crime book writer. That's this girl. She has three. So remember, if the Fez is one of the eyeball tokens, they're automatically a cultist. So by revealing this token on the, whatever her name is, Maria, the, the, the maestro, uh, my, Maestra, is that like a female version of Maestra? Whatever. The point is, if we reveal this one token using the ability, if it's not a Fez, we can rule out line one as a way of her being a cultist. So I'm definitely going to do that. Reveal a chosen eyeball thing of a suspect in your cart. So let's reveal this. Blip. Okay, it's a brass doorknob and it's not purple. Okay, so let's just look it down here. Basically, it's not the fez. Okay, that's we the one we revealed was the doorknob, so it's not the fez. But if we look at her, she already has a need revealed. You can see it here. And it is purple. In fact, it's the goblet. So if you look down here, you can see that the goblet is part of the level two thing to prove that she is actually a cultist. She does not have an elder sign because she's only got one eyeball token and that's not a fez. That was a doorknob. So boom. She doesn't have that. So two is a worry. If she has the Constantinople ticket, then we know for a fact that she is a cultist. The other one, she needs four purples, all right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. She is possible for her to still be a cultist. But if that one is a cultist, if that if we reveal that one and it is not Constantinople and it is not purple, we know for a fact that she is not a cultist. I'm pretty sure that's how it works out. Whatever. The point is we've done her move. Now what's she going to do? She's going to go two actions. That's one, two for a move. And then she's going to go... Oh, she doesn't have a banish. Who's the guy with the banish? Oh, it's this guy's got the banish as the action. Choose one investigator put next to their skill. Okay, so what's this say? Open windows. Okay, so she is still going to do a move, but she's just going to move here, and then she's going to close this window. And that's her two moves. And the reason we're doing that is because this thing here triggers off open windows, and there's two happy passengers in there as well. Okie dokie, that is that. So let's draw another token. Yonk. Okay, it is a train speed. And this is blue, so we draw another token. So this just goes, boom, one more. And draw another token. It is another train speed. Boom, one more. And bam. And it is a nothing. So there was no event happened. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we're doing pretty well on the events so far. And that is basically turn one. As you can see, we've gotten two tokens onto the event board, but they're both filling up the single spot. We need at least three of these spots to be covered with a token before the, the entire thing resolves. So we've got a lot of time still. Might happen in the next turn though. Well, that's the end of turn one, and I'll see you guys next time.